Yes, I know. My channel has deteriorated to me ranting and rambling about the Olympics. I am not a big Olympics fan. It is not something I enjoy very much, but that is just my personal preference. I have, however, watched a bit because my family watches it, and I tend to watch whatever my family watches. I think the Olympics is a complete joke. I don't dislike it just because I don't find it particularly entertaining. That is an unimportant personal entertainment preference. I think it is a joke due to its complete failures to actually enforce serious consequences for doping. They banned Russia for doping, but let them come back just with a different name. What kind of a consequence is that? Getting back into the Olympics after a ban is just like getting back onto Twitter or Discord after a ban. All you have to do is change your name. Social media bans of this kind are actually more useful because at least they make it hard to grow an audience. Banning countries from the Olympics makes literally no difference if they can just come back with a new name. I mean, it is just ridiculous. There is no consequence for cheating, bans mean nothing, just come back with a different name and everything is fine. The respectability of the Olympics and any other organised sport event relies on fair play. It is a trial of skill and ability. This trial is not fair if you can just take performance enhancing drugs with little fear of serious consequences. It undermines the whole point of the Olympics. This is obvious and not particularly interesting. Any reasonable person thinks the ROC, or whatever it is called, being allowed at the Olympics is hilariously stupid. It makes the whole thing look like a joke organised by spineless people who don't even care about the fundamental basis of their whole operation, that basis of course being fair competition. I have stated the obvious, but now I want to talk about something that might be a little less obvious. So anyways. Apparently one of the very young Russian competitors, a 15-year-old girl who was a figure skater, tested positive for a banned substance. That substance is trimetazidine, good chance I'm pronouncing that wrong, which can apparently increase blood flow efficiency and with it the endurance of the athlete. The Olympics didn't seem very eager to enforce their rules and to do something about this, and we shouldn't be surprised because the Olympics is a joke. I want to talk about consent. As we all know, children are not capable of consenting to basically anything particularly serious. They lack the capacity for reason and rationality. They are inexperienced, immature, and struggle to understand the consequences of their actions and decisions. Going to compete in the Olympics seems very serious. Add in the fact that you are competing for what is basically a ban evasion account for a banned country, and the fact that you took performance enhancing drugs. This is very serious stuff. I don't think a 15 year old can consent to this kind of thing. This is very serious, not something a child should be expected to understand and responsibly engage with. And it is also not something adults should decide to have a child do. To force a child into such a situation I think is very questionable morally. I think it is a violation of their consent because it's making them do something which is very serious for really no reason, something they're incapable of consenting to. I think there should be more outrage over this. Does this not seem like a violation of consent to you? The morality of the situation is complex, but it seems to me very obvious that this is a very serious situation, and a situation that a literal child cannot properly and responsibly interact with and navigate. I think our society needs to be a lot more careful when it comes to consent in serious situations. I think this is an interesting case, which should lead us to evaluate our views of consent throughout the whole society. I think our conclusion should be that we need to take these things more seriously than many of us currently do. But anyways, that is my thoughts on the Olympics. And one final thing. I think it is kind of bad taste to hold the Olympics in China. 
an extremely authoritarian country which is in the midst of carrying out a literal genocide. In fact, I don't just think it is bad taste. I think it is completely disgusting. I think giving China that privilege is an insult to all of the people that the Chinese government oppresses and terrorizes. What can I say? I guess I just don't like murderous genocidal dictatorships very much, and I don't want to give them the privilege of normalizing and legitimizing themselves by hosting such events. Hosting the Olympics is supposed to be a privilege, and it is not a privilege that such a nation deserves.